Welcome to this Google Drive screencast where we're looking at collaborating with students. In this particular screencast, we're going to take a look at comments in Google Drive files. So here I am in a Google document that was shared to me by a student. The student wrote a paper. I, as the teacher, want to go through and read it and maybe leave some comments. I don't want to have to interfere with the student's paper, so I'm going to use the comment feature in Google Drive. How the comment feature works is you highlight some words that you want to comment about, and then you come up here and this little speech bubble is the insert comment button. When you click that, a comment box appears over here on the side. So I might say here, remember to cite this source in your paper. And I click comment. So that little comment gets tucked off on the side of the document. As the student work were to come through this later, uh, if you mouse, if you click on any of the yellow highlighted passages, notice that those comments kind of bubble up. So if there were a few comments, you would know which comment relates to which passage. If I flip over to the student side of this, so let me go into the student account. Now I'm in as the student. I'm looking at this as a student. You can always click on a comment box. And again, it kind of darkens the color here, shows what it relates to. If I wanted to comment back, I could type a message and you can create a little comment string on the side of the document. And that's what I've done down here. So teacher left a comment. You can also include links if you want to individualize instruction for your students. So in this first comment, as the teacher I wrote, I think it would be good for you to talk about the types of plagiarism we went over in class, look at this website for more. And I included a link. So then the student responded, said, thanks, I'll add a few of those types. I shouldn't add all of them, should I? And then the teacher responded, I would pick two or three. So you can kind of carry on a side discussion in the document. You don't have to be in the document at the same time to receive those comments. They'll just sit there. And one thing that's nice about this is if the comments start to pile up, you can click resolve. Or if the student or the teacher took care of whatever the comment was, was drawing your attention to, when you click resolve, um, that's just another way to get rid of the comments. All the comments are stored, though. Even if they're resolved and they're gone from the side of the screen, you come up and you click on this comments box, and this does show the history of the comments that were left. So it is good to know that there is a history of that if you need to go in and see that. This is also great for students working on a project where they can leave little notes in the document to each other without having to interfere with the text in the document. That is how the comment feature works. Thanks so much for watching.